Hello everyone, welcome back to Photon Engineer. We're gonna keep playing this some more. I think I enjoyed my first 40 minutes with the game. This level particularly got much more, not like really difficult, but like much more intricate compared to some of the ones before it. Uh, just off the top, I did receive a code for this game to play it and make videos and all that stuff, but it's not an ad, just keeping you guys informed of that kind of thing. But now let's fly to the last discovered platform and see what puzzle comes next. Of course, if you want to check out the game for yourself, there will always be a link to the game I'm playing in the description down below. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, green laser... Red laser... Is this like... Is this splitting lasers? We've got red and green. This is blue. And I've seen these symbols before. We've got nothing going wrong. Nothing going on around the back end. Nothing on top. And I have a new cube on four. So... If I were to have this going... This way... No. Does this only have two openings? Or should it have three distinct faces? Two ins and an out, I guess. Let's start by putting down a couple of those. Then we've got two mirrors and this thing. So that doesn't do anything. Let's assume this is the doorway. I need to get the purple cube with one laser in each direction. But I only have two mirrors. And on this one, they're coming in from alternate sides, but here they're both on the same side. And I only have two mirrors. That's what's really getting me here. Nothing else going on. There's this one that's blue. I don't know if that's going to come from inside the other place. If I put this here, and then I can't have a single cube here, because that's just going to block that out of the way. Why is my brain not passing this as simply as I feel like it should? Two parallel lasers. Okay, hold on. No. Brain, what are you doing? If this one... goes forward... then I can put green into the purple...
but they're coming in from the wrong sides, right? Just give me a whole platform to work with here. So, <laughs> well, I built my platform terribly. I'm bad at games. I'm bad at puzzles. Green and red both going separately into purple. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I figured it out and I'm dumb. So that goes there. And we have purple right here. And then all I have to do is take my green laser here and bend it twice with the two mirrors that I have. And then I get to what I need here, a yellow line. took me way longer than I feel like it should but that's on me All right sliding puzzle this needs to go to the right this can break one piece that fills in that gap I just need to get something moving right on here which is going to be either this or this. Probably not this. So, only this piece and this piece can go right. This is going to go down before it goes right. So can I get that out of the way of that? This is going to go down before it goes right. This doesn't help me. Because that happens. It's going to come across. That's going to go down. This is going to go down and right. I need something here. But I'm not sure what. Unless the right hand on this is a ruse. Oh, I forget that these can move. Well, that makes it much, much simpler, doesn't it? Okay. Give me that. Now, how do I make blue? If I have green and red. Because this is yellow. And this needs blue. But I don't have any other types of resource here. An unused door is leaning against the wall. Strangely, all the doors and most of the objects on these platforms are sized for humans. It is intriguing, isn't it? So if we now pull these off, I only have two lasers this does not have a button sorry I only have two mirrors so even if one laser was sufficient I feel like that's just not going to do it anyway nothing up here 
That door remains open, which is interesting. But there's nothing additional in here. So that'll be a mystery for another time, I think. Let's get to another puzzle. Flight to the last discovered platform. There are 36 platforms, I've been told, and a couple of bonus things. I don't know if that's like 34 and two bonuses make 36 or 36 and some bonuses on top, but good to have a general idea of how much puzzling is ahead. Right, I missed the name of this. But you can actually find out if you come back to here, rather than flying to another platform, it will tell you that we are currently on tunnel. So, we'll just stay on tunnel. So, we've got a door. Red, green, and blue. Do we need to merge three colors then, perhaps? There's green laser. Blue laser, red laser. Then another green laser. And a door. To a switch that is enclosed in glass. Okay. We also have one timer switch. But I'm not sure where that's going to come into play. Especially because that green one is coming directly to here, but I can't do anything inside of this box, I don't think, which is interesting. Okay, let's start trying to merge all three colors then. We only have two mirrors. And I need to hit that target there. Now, I'm guessing I can't do something weird with mirrors here. I'd have to do, like... Something like this. But one lower down. That takes, blocks off the green, and bends the blue. Can I simply combine these two where they are? I guess not, because this takes in two sources of light from directly opposing sides. So I think the easiest way to do that would be this here pointing up and then this here pointing Uh, that coming to here, that going up, and that going down, gets those two to meet in the middle. But then this green is just achieving nothing. So what can we do with that? Doing a terrible job of trying to visualize stuff in 3d space I also do not know what the green rectangle is for today because this says no pulse five pulses so i guess i need it before something happens on any or at least on the green laser perhaps but then this is the green this is the green laser so I don't know how I would put this inside there when I can't. 
and just generally getting three lasers in three different directions to all conform in one direction is the tricky part for me right now. Anything happening over here? Just a cross of plants. Not some secret tip. I doubt it. Nessa. Okay, think it through. This must come up. It simply must. Then what can we do with this? Because this operates in a straight line, doesn't it? So I can't bend light with that. But now, the green and the red are at least sort of parallel. Equally, if I do that, the green, uh, the red and the blue are now parallel. Right, I'm making no headway fast with this, so I'm just going to poke it for a minute because I have nothing else to really work with in my head for a second. Hold on, he immediately realizes that I have two of these. So that's probably where I need to do something slightly differently. So they take two opposing lights and put them in one direction. So what could I do with two of these that I couldn't do before? Is that bends 90 degrees for me? And if I get rid of this, and put that there, that bends that 90 degrees for me. So now I have two parallel beams of light, but I'm one mirror short to make these both come down and meet in the middle to go that way. So what else could I do? That comes in. I figure I'm going to need something like this. With this one shooting to there. Come on now. Oh, it's a pain that I can't rotate the bottom one on the axis I want before the top one. So that goes up, then that goes there. But I'm a laser short, a mirror short of getting it all in one place. So how could I do that? If I could make two of them meet naturally together, that would be great. But the way this runs, I can't. If this were to come down and this were to go up, I could make these meet there, but it's the third color that's really the problem here. But again, I'm forgetting that I have two number fours. And I probably want that to be 
at least a bit higher. Because I can use that as effectively a mirror, can't I? So was I actually onto something when I had red going up and these two meeting here? Was I actually right next to the solution and I biffed it? Quite possibly. Let me see if I can rebuild what I had. Alright, I've had a thought, but I've not executed on it yet. This blue and this green with a single mirror right here and meet one another as if they were pointing at each other. So then if I go for a four here, I get a green blue laser coming out across. Because they that's the point where those two meet. Now, I still only have one mirror and one joiner. So that's where I get stuck because I could move this beam down with a mirror and I could move this beam up with a mirror and they would get joined together there but I'm one mirror short to do that. Also, it's pretty cool seeing how almost out to infinity that appears to go although parallax scrolling does have its limitations. So, yeah, I think this is going to be involved somehow, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll keep working on it. I think I was kind of close, because what I realized is with the green coming down and the blue coming to the side and meeting at a 90 degree angle. If I put a mirror here and make sure those... Oh god. And make sure those are effectively pointing directly at one another. I have a blue beam going this way. And a green beam going that way. And as much as the colours don't show it, they, bo they do both fully continue into the opposition of themselves. So then I can use this. Here. To join those two beams together and have them point downwards and I can get this beam to point upwards and then with that that opens that door now I'm guessing because I haven't used my three that doesn't work so can I just put this here and that runs through it all the way. That was a doozy. And then we get our sliding puzzle. Oh, we've got rotational pieces. Interesting. Um, I can't click them. But I presume this is going to then... If this goes through this, it's going to turn that way and face right. No. Interesting. Ah, uh, it has to land directly on it. Good knowledge. All right, I think I got fairly lucky there. We grab our next location. And we are out. All right, off to our next platform then.
Platform 9. Divide and conquer. Uh, so, a brown cube can split a beam into two pieces. There's a red beam. We have four or five mirrors available. I'm guessing there's more stuff inside that we can unlock access to. I saw a photo showing a platform under construction. How it was built remains mysterious. Indeed, there are no living species or robots in this photo. Right. Blue laser, red laser. Red laser only. So let's start with the simple stuff. Red laser. Red laser. Red laser. Red laser. Gets this open. Now I'm assuming I am to harvest these. Now I have access to them. Green laser. Blue laser. Right, well, if I put a mirror here. I clearly ruin that because that's not how this works. Um, put that back. That opens that. But. If I break this laser. I lose that door. Which was providing this laser. For that door. Okay. So where do I split a laser? Possibly. Yeah. That comes into there. Possibly not there then. And then reset platform. Interesting. But I'm inside now. Oh. That's if you accidentally soft lock yourself in or something, I suppose. Good to know. I wondered if it might only reset the subsection of the puzzle I was in. But I guess not. So, green laser splits in two. I understand. Does that want a green laser? It doesn't seem to care what laser it gets. Like if I split... this yeah and then put that down there except one further back of course fails at the first hurdle because it wants a green laser, because that's denoted by that green symbol. Yes. Okay. Understood. Right. 
what are we doing out here? This door can be opened. And then... If I replace this... With a splitter... That won't help me. I want to find a shorter way to get that red laser to here for now, I think. How can I do that? Without breaking this. Basically, two things need to happen at the same time, I think. I now turn this breaks that laser how can I get them that through here at the same time could I do the purple one here And then bend this to there. Did that work? It would. So now we've cut this all out. Very nice. So now I have a bunch of mirrors. And a splitter. To get green to there. So it would be one, two, so it goes towards us, to the right, two down, and towards it. So it would have to be one mirror. Two mirror, three mirror, four mirror. So it can't be that. I wonder if we'd be better off. Sending this out into the room first. Then... Is the splitter just acting as its own kind of mini independent mirror? Because I can mirror this down. And then from here... I can't put it there. I need a crouch button. Or if I... There. If I build that there first, I then have a surface I can put this against, right? And then I can put a mirror here. And then I push the button. Okay. The cube. Slightly unexpected. Oh, this is a this is a whole thing, isn't it? Right. This probably wants to come down and then move across to the right while something is blocking this side. This can break stuff.
And interestingly, this rotates a whole 180 degrees as opposed to a 90 degrees, which is different. So, I want these to move down with this so that the yellow is in the center line. Let's start there. Break that. Bring this down and this up. I don't think it's that. That looks feasible. That doesn't. These two can be broken as well. That just gets that stuck in the bottom right corner. making no headway here. What's the, the move that I'm missing? I'm already trying to get something onto here because that's what I've failed to do with this move set so far. That moves that across. That comes down to here. That goes across and up. That's interesting. I put that underneath there. That can then provide a backing for this. That can go down. This can move that across again. And we're golden. What are you? I found a box containing a picture showing four symbols. We know what we're doing with that. Also, just the attention to detail on all of the laser generators you can hear the fans inside blowing away which is just a really nice attention to detail all right we're going to finish there for today thank you ever so much for watching if you enjoyed the series please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button if you have any questions comments recommendations you can put those down below if you want to play the game for yourself there'll be a link down in the description otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers